what's up guys my name is jay and welcome back to my channel if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time i upload a brand new video i've been making a series of videos in this series i go in detail explaining some of the the most important mixing plugins like a compressor eq delay and many more so i've made videos on a get on a eq and on a compressor so if you'd like to see those videos i'll make sure to put the links in the description below so that you can go there and watch them so in today's video we're going to be talking about uh, a deesa so basically deesa is just a plugin that helps us reduce sibilance in our vocals sibilance basically are just uh, those sounds that are produced by forcing let's say air through a, a tiny a space mostly characterized by s's right here with me i've got a, a vocal uh i've done a little bit of a freestyle which is more of my way of making music so what i usually do is if i make a beat i'll just freestyle to it with uh maybe words that i can't even hear and then when i just get that flow then i'll just change everything into words so what I've sung here is basically just some freestyle uh, with nothing in it. These words don't really mean anything. But one very important thing is that I record these freestyles directly on my uh, computer microphone. So there's no pop filter. There's nothing to reduce all those sounds. So I've decided to use this vocal because it has a lot of sibilance. And let's just listen to it. Fresh like I'm from the bed Money on my mind, I'm a dread I say, I swear I'm a chase I never lay down my base Fresh like I'm not away I said to God, I'm overrated I shine a head in rain But I know my voice goes on I'm going crazy, I'm making money I'm lazy, I'm making money fresh from All right, so basically that's it. So if you listen to parts like this one here and other parts here, you see that there's a lot of sibilance that needs to be reduced. So the DSR basically just works as a plugin that reduces part of these sibilance, which can be irritating to the human ear. It only helps in reducing these sibilance so that they can be well received by the the ear so if you listen to this part here i say i swear i'm a chase i never lay down my base fresh like i'm not away i said to god i'm over it so right there you can tell that there's quite some sibilance that needs to be reduced and that's the the job of a ds so right now what i'm going to do is i'll just load a ds right here dynamics then ds so the ds has got frequencies from 0 to 20k here but usually where you find lots of sibilance is around this area so i'm just going to switch it off then i'll play the vocal then i'm going to see on this eq where exactly these sibilance are happening so as i hear some sibilance i'll see what's going on on this side so let me just play this i say i swear i'm a chase i never let i say i swear i'm a chase all right, so I'm able to see that uh, these sibilance are somewhere between 5K and 10K, somewhere around this area, going to 20K. So let me play this again so that you see. I say, I swear I'm a chase. I never lay down my base. So if I go back to my DSA, if you look at your low and your, your high here, basically just helps you set the frequency range where you want to apply this DSA. So if you look at this, if I take it all the way, but I know that it's from 5K somewhere around this, uh, this area. So this, I'll set it to here. So I'll now, I'm now going to switch on this DSA and just play this so that we can see. I say I swear I'm a chase I never let down my Macy 
so if you look at this area right here there's a red stuff that's coming in that's basically showing us how much is being reduced that's what is being reduced in terms of CB land when you go to reduct if you push it more it will reduce more of the vocal but that's not what we want we only want to reduce a little bit of it so that it is normal for the human ear the threshold can be set to auto where the plugin sets the the correct threshold depending on the the frequency of the audio file coming in or the level of the audio file coming into the plugin and then the release is just how fast the plugin releases this signal once it passes through I'll, I'll push the reduct then you'll see how much is being reduced so you'll notice that uh, if I push it all the way this side, there's only a little bit of it going on here. So only a little bit of reduction going on. I say I swear I'm a JC. I never lay down my Macy. If I push it more. I say I swear I'm a JC. I never lay down my Macy. So basically what you want is that optimal position where you don't destroy the vocal too much. So that's just the position that you need to look for. When you come to this side on the side chain, if you switch on side chain, the frequency helps you set it helps you set the frequency range where you want the plugin to actually do some work. So I'll push this all the way to 5k. If I play this, I say I swear I'm a JC. I never later, my then the Q factor is basically just um, how much of it you reduce. Let me push this. If you click on monitor, this just helps you monitor what you're reducing. So let me click on this, then we can listen to that. So you can switch on and off to listen to what you you're actually reducing So it's those irritating sounds that we do not want. Alright, so now that you you're much acquainted with the plugin, you can now go through and just experiment and uh, uh, get your vocal to a point where you want it to be. So you now know that a DSA only helps reduce those sibilants in, uh, in your vocal. So thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and click that post notification bell. Also, give it a thumbs up. See you in my next video. Peace.